Look at this baby pink. So yeah, olive oil all over the table. Is it beetroot or beets? Welcome back to Cheat Lazy Vegan and another video. Today's video, we are doing something really fun. I decided to make a vegan version of Barbie pasta. We're gonna make a creamy, delicious pink pasta to celebrate the Barbie movie. Have you guys seen it? What do you guys think? Let me know down below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, give me your thoughts. Maybe I'll give you my thoughts at the end of this video. I thought it'd be really fun to make a pink vegan pasta and we're gonna call it Barbie pasta. I've seen it around TikTok. It was not a vegan recipe, so we're gonna veganize it today. And it's gonna be really, really simple and delicious and creamy and very, very pretty and very pink. So, let's get started. All right guys, so before we jump into the recipe, just letting you guys know that I am doing a trip to Costa Rica with my best friend slash podcast co-host Daniel in January. We're doing a vegan tour in Costa Rica and you are invited. So if you guys wanna come along on a trip with us, make sure you check out the link down below to get all the details, the itinerary and everything. These trips are so fun. I've done a few of these already and it's always a, such a great time. So if you guys wanna come along to Costa Rica in January and escape the cold in January if you live in a cold climate. Definitely check out the link below. There are limited spots, so make sure you grab a spot and hopefully I'll see you in Costa Rica. All right, now let's get started with the recipe. All right, you guys, so the very first thing we're gonna do is we are going to roast some garlic and some onion. So what I'm gonna do is actually roast it in the air fryer. You could roast it in the oven or if you are anything like me and you are lazy and you cannot wait for the oven, what you can do is you can actually just dice up your onion and mince your garlic and then just saute it with some oil on a pan. That's probably what I would do if I didn't have an air fryer, but I have an air fryer. So we're gonna stick it in the air fryer. So I think I'm just gonna stick this whole thing. I have like half a, you know what, is this too much garlic? Is there such thing as too much garlic? I don't think so. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil on top of the garlic. And yes, we're just gonna roast it in the skin. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of oil. Ooh, yeah, you know, this great, great thinking, Rose. Wonderful, Rose, you're, you're, you know, the brain is braining right now. So yeah, olive oil all over the table. Okay, okay. So anyway, we got olive oil. We're gonna stick it in the oven. Not the oven, we're gonna stick it in the air fryer <laughs> for, uh, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes, 10 minutes. Let's try it. <laughs> I don't know what temperature. Let's see. I'll do all the way 400 degrees, 10 minutes. All right, guys, so now that we have the garlic and onion roasting, we are going to cook our pasta. So get the pasta water going and then cook up whatever pasta you wanna use. All right, you guys, so this is now out of the oven. I, not, why do I keep saying oven? It is out of the air fryer. <laughs> I air fried it at three, nope, I did not air fry it at three. I air fried it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for I believe 13-ish minutes. I would do between 12 to 15. We wanna get a nice little roast going. We wanna get a nice little char going. The garlic looks lovely and delicious. Oh my Lord. So it's now ready to be blended into the sauce. So now everything is easy. Like once you do this, cook the pasta, everything else is so easy. You just put everything in to a blender. Now what I would do is when you are cooking the pasta, save some of the pasta water. I saved about half a cup because we might wanna add it into the sauce later. So first thing into the sauce, we're actually gonna be using tofu as our creamy sauce, okay? So it's gonna be a high protein pasta, but creamy and delicious. So we're using tofu. I'm actually using a medium firm tofu for this. You could also use like a silken tofu. You could use a soft tofu, medium firm. This also works, okay? So I'm just gonna break it up just a little bit. We're gonna add it into a blender. Boop, boop. Boop. Boop, boop. Now, we've got the tofu in here. Now we can add our lovely roasted onion. Boop. And then we've got this, ugh, is it going to be hot? 
Is it going to be hot? I like to take a risk, okay? So we should be able to easily, see this is the beauty of roasting the garlic. It just kind of like easily peels out of the little, the little shell there. Um, I've seen people like squeeze it out, but like you can just literally easily, ah, huh? don't burn yourself like I'm doing. Um, here we go, oh this is a lot of garlic. <laughs> Beware guys. But you know, really there's no such thing as too much garlic. So we're doing basically a ton of garlic here. So all that roasted garlic, ooh, ooh, here we go. So we got garlic, we got onion, we got tofu. We're also gonna add in some lemon juice. We have some nutritional yeast and a little bit of miso paste. Just a little dollop. And then I'm just going to add maybe about half of the pasta water I have prepared. Uh, so about quarter cup for now. And then we'll see if I need more. And then the final thing, wait a second. Do I want to waste nooch? No. Make sure you get all of it. Now the final ingredient, guys. This is what makes it the Barbie pasta. This is the magic ingredient, beetroot powder. Okay? You can use actual beetroot. Okay? Like you can use actual beets. Is it beetroot or beets? You can use actual beets, and that's gonna give it the color as well, but uh, last time I bought beets, I used it for one recipe and then it went bad. So, um, I just use beetroot powder. This is wonderful, this is fantastic. If you want to add it to different things to make things pink, or if you just wanna be healthy and put beetroot powder in things, get some beetroot powder. I'll link this below if you guys want to, I don't know, no affiliation whatsoever, but. Um, beetroot powder, you just need a little bit, okay? Just a tiny bit goes a long way. So we're gonna add a little bit of beetroot powder. There you go. Be careful with this powder, guys. It's gonna stain everything, okay? So, here we go. So now let's blend this up, and it's gonna become a very pink sauce. All right, guys, ooh, look at this. That's actually quite cute. Now, do I want it pinker? Maybe a tiny bit pinker. So, I'm gonna add a tiny, tiny bit more beetroot powder to make it a tiny bit pinker. Just a little dollop. Now, one thing I forgot to add into the blender is salt. So we're gonna add that in. Ooh! And now let's blend it up again. Okay, guys. So, I think we have achieved Barbie doll pink. What do you guys think? Is this Barbie doll pink? What do you think? So now that we have the sauce, now we can just put it all together. So I've already cooked up the pasta al dente, my friends, okay? Not all the way. I'm gonna turn this heat down. This is a bit hot. So what I'm gonna do is just add the pasta into a pan. Oh. And I'm actually gonna add the rest of the pasta water. And then we're just gonna pour this in. This is the fun part. Look at this, look at this. Look at this baby pink, there we go. And another way that you can make this pasta is by using my four ingredient Alfredo recipe and then just adding in some beetroot. And that would be so good. This is just a different way of making a creamy pasta. And I like that it's also high in protein because we've got the tofu. And um, so it's just a fun way of eating a creamy pasta. I mean, look at this baby pink color. That's so pretty. Just mix it really well, don't waste the sauce, add some more sauce. And that's basically it. <laughs> I just like to cook it with the sauce for maybe like a minute or so. And then your Barbie pasta is ready to eat. Barbie pasta, my friends. I mean, look how cute it looks. I mean, especially with my pink outfit. All right, let's give this a try. This is just a fun little thing you could make. Maybe you wanna make it for your, you know, for your children, whatever, for yourself. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like a really nice, creamy, savory pasta, okay? Mm. You can't taste the beetroot at all. Um, yeah, it's delicious. Highly recommend. Um, I think it's so much fun. And I have to tell you what I feel about the Barbie movie. So I thought.
thought overall the film was really good. Uh, I thought it had a good message. I thought, you know, it was really cute. Of course, everything. And of course, Ryan Gosling, you know, he's looking all kinds of good. So, um, enjoyed it. Do I think it was as, you know, profound <laughs> as some people? Not necessarily. I thought, you know, the messaging, again, whilst I agree with the messaging and whilst I thought it was good, I thought it was quite... I don't want to say basic, but, but a little bit, you know, like nothing I haven't heard before. Nothing I haven't, you know, thought of before. Um, and I thought, this is my personal preference, I like movies where it is a little bit more, you know, even though it has a social message, I like it to be kind of ingrained in the artistic piece as in something that I kind of have to figure out myself, where there's like metaphors and, you know, things happening in the movie that symbolize the message. You know, I really like Parasite for that reason. I feel like there's, even though there is a very strong social message, I think that it's kind of like woven into the artistic piece where I feel like with Barbie, it was literally like just straight up, like, you know, feminist message, which again, love it, but could it have been a little bit more, uh, there's a word that I can't think of, <laughs> but could it have been a little bit more, you know, artistic, less like very much in your face? I think so. Again, personal preference. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a cute movie. I do think it's it's a nice movie. And actually we talk about this in our podcast, The Savage Podcast. So if you guys wanna listen to our thoughts on that, you can listen to the podcast. I'll link the episode if, I, if it's already live. And yeah, uh, but, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Barbie pasta. The recipe will be linked down below. It's super easy, it's delicious, and um, it's nice and creamy, it's fun. Make it, okay? Make it for you, make it for your children, make it for your friends, whoever, okay? Um, and have fun with it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below and leave your thoughts on the Barbie movie as well if you've seen it. And uh, let me know if you agree or disagree with what I'm saying. And of course, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And guys, make sure you come to Costa Rica. Link is down below for the trip. All the details will be linked below and hopefully I'll see you there. And I will also see you in my next video. Bye.